Oh my god, that's hilarious! So, <laughs> Sua? Hey! Okay, I gotta go. Love you. Bye! What's going on, Bendy? Hey, aren't you singing in the student recital? Yeah, like in 30 minutes. Why? You're gonna change, right? No, I'm gonna wing it like this. Why are you asking? Oh, you, you can't wear jeans, flip-flops, and a t-shirt for the recital. It's like against the law. Against the law? Really? Then what do I do? Come on, hurry up. We'll, we'll, we'll get you changed. Uh, no, 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 go, go, no, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Way too short. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome to UT Tyler Music. As you've already guessed, yes, we're going to talk about performance attire and etiquette today. We're joking about it's against the law part, but you guys got to understand that you cannot wear jeans, flip-flops, or t-shirt for student recital performance. I'm sure some of you might think, why this is even a big deal? Well, first, let me explain why performance attire matters. We are in a culture that professional attire indicates you are serious for what you do and respectful of the audience who take the time to come to see your performance. You'll practice over and over to perfect your music before performing it. Putting on a professional outfit for performance sends a message that you are a pro, not an amateur, and you would like to be considered and accepted seriously by your peers, professors, potential employers, and audience. This is not an overnight project. As you practice your music repeatedly, professional presentation is something that you must practice repeatedly as well. You need to find what works for you, and you will find it as you practice. The student recitals offer an opportunity to practice not only performing skills, but also presentation skills, so you are ready for reality upon graduation. Here are our recommendations for concert attire. Men may wear a suit and tie, or dress pants, dress khakis are okay, and sport coat optional. Dress shirt with tie, dress shoes, and dark socks. No sneakers, sandals, white socks, jeans, t-shirt, or polo shirt. Cologne should not be worn. Well, men are easy. Women have so many items to go over. Sorry, girls. Women may wear a short sleeve dress, knee length or below, or a skirt, knee length or below, and blouse, or dress slacks, and blouse or a suit, hose, and dress shoes. These are what you shouldn't do. No tank top, spaghetti strap shirt, mini skirt, backless or low cut top, flip flop shoes, bare legs or bare midriff. Sandals should be dressy and worn with sheer toe hose. Bare shoulders are not appropriate. Ladies, the stage is above the audience and you will do a lot of bowing. This is to make sure there are no wardrobe malfunctions to embarrass you later. The selections of shoes should be done carefully. High heels often look and sound awkward. Also, they are often not the best choice for singers, any performers who stand when playing, and pianists who must use pedals. Consider a low and soft heel. Perfume or cologne should not be worn. In summary, wear something professional, not distracting. But if you're uncertain about performance clothing, consult your instructor and follow their guidance. 
And you also must understand that these recommendations do not apply for degree recital outfit. Although this list may apply for workshop, conference, competitions, and auditions. Think Michelle Obama, Kate Middleton, or Adele. Secondly, let's talk about other performance etiquette besides attire. When you first enter the stage, smile and acknowledge the audience. The person with the longest distance to go should enter first. Look like you're excited to play or sing and smile. Bow at a medium speed and back up at the same speed. Enjoy the moment. Take a bow and then exit the stage. Rehearse the entrance and bow a few times with your partner so you can avoid an awkward situation. Trust me, this will ruin the last moment of your performance. Wait until the applause is done and then get the next piece up. Acknowledge and appreciate the applause while it's happening. Face the audience when you stand while receiving applause. Always remember to acknowledge your accompanist. Turn the page as quickly and quietly as possible. Be respectful and be aware. Keep the reactions to a minimum. If you miss a note or an entrance, keep it to yourself and keep going. Chances are the audience has no idea and let's keep that way, right? Don't be negative and tell your audience members everything that went wrong. Don't talk about the mistakes you made. Finally, we need to learn the etiquette as the audience. Turn off your cell phone. You can also turn on the airplane mode if not completely turning off. I don't recommend putting on vibrate because the people next to you can hear buzzing sound too. Don't send text messages during the show. Recitals and concerts are in a dark light. The light from your cell phone screen is incredibly distracting to those around you. If you have to cough, cover your mouth. Coughing is inevitable, but failure to cover your mouth is unforgivable. We are all musicians who are sensitive to virus. Please don't show up if symptom is contagious. Don't talk during the performance. Keep conversations to a break or after the performance. Remain seated during performances. If you need to leave the recital hall, do so at intermissions, between acts, between performers, or between musical selections. Don't take pictures, especially with a flash. I know it may sound an extensive to-do list. This video will be up on YouTube for your reference. So review and try some of the items. It'll be cool to apply them for your student recital experience. Last but not least, have fun performing and listening in the student recitals, even if you are nervous to death. I look forward to seeing many of you follow this instruction. Peace out.